Hi, it's Dougie from Valto, and welcome to this series, Replacing Paper Processes with Power Apps. In this app in an hour style series, we aim to show you how you can create your own Power App within an hour. In this series, I'll be talking about an incident reporting form that would look such like this. And this would be like a paper-based uh, form that you might currently be using inside your office, and you'd be filling it out uh, and then providing that back as a sort of scanned PDF. And we'll be showing you how you can replace those paper-based processes with something that looks like this, which is a Power App, and then we've embedded it inside of a Microsoft team. However, the same logic that we're going to show you to create your Power App within an hour could be used for all sorts of different processes, such as an accident reporting logbook, an expense request system, an inspection form of machinery or vehicles or even construction sites or any other type of reporting application. The series is broken into the following videos, creating a Canvas app from SharePoint, now, as part of this, we, we actually have a very strong background in SharePoint and we often choose SharePoint to store our data. So we're going to show you how you can use SharePoint to store your data for your application. Um, we choose SharePoint because it's included in most Office 365 licenses and you can store quite a lot of data there. As part of that particular video, we'll be looking at how you actually create the physical Canvas app from SharePoint lists. Now, to start with, you would need to create your list and consider what type of fields you want to capture, whether you want to be capturing um, sort of who, who um, had the accident, what time of day it was, any types of categories and different types of fields you would want to make sure that you're capturing. In the second video that would be titled Customizing Canvas Apps and Moving Form Fields, we would be looking at how you can then style your app and move your fields around within the app that has been created. The next video is around filtering the gallery. So once you've actually created your app, you would want to filter the gallery down so users only see the items they're submitting. So on this home page, for example, I would only see the items that I have actually created myself. Then we'll move on to another video, which is around creating approval workflow. Now this is using Power Automate, which has previously been known as Flow. And we're going to create a very simplistic approval workflow um, and show you how you can then create things like emails, which then spin off the back of that particular workflow. We'll then be looking at filtering galleries with buttons. You can see across the top of this app, I've got different ways I can say I want to see my um, items if they've been, say, for example, approved. And then I'm going to filter down the app based on using that button. The next video will be then looking at how to change colors based on a status using a switch formula. So that's how we achieve this kind of um, rag status, the red, amber, green that we've got here, is these colored circles next to the items. And then the final video, we're going to be talking about embedding the Power App, the Canvas Power App, into our Microsoft Teams tab. So this is what we're looking at here. We've got Microsoft Teams and we've got our app embedded into it. This makes it nice and easy for our team to be able to access the Power App at any point on any device. I hope you enjoy the series, and if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact us. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you need help, we do offer professional services, including bespoke development, pre-built solutions, training packages, and a pay-as-you-go support service which bridges those knowledge gaps within your existing team. All of our employees are based in the UK and have years of experience deploying solutions with small businesses as well as large enterprise organisations. We offer a free consultation with a no obligation quotation. If this all sounds good, drop us an email, ask for Dougie, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.